Hi everyone, I want to show you the sort of things you can carry in a travel altar and how easy it is to set it up and put things together for what you need. So I found this box at the thrift store and I'm just going to show you what I've quickly put in it to show you what sort of things I would carry if I was travelling. So first of all, I'd probably carry a tarot or oracle card linked in with whatever intention I want to do while I'm there, like I could have one for protection or whatever the purpose was. This just happens to be the one I grabbed off the top of the pile today. So you can have a, hold on, I've just realized everything's glowing in the dark. So you could have an oracle card, a piece of card or paper to write any intentions on and a pen. A rune or symbol um, or anything like that with your intention so like this one would be protection so maybe I wanted to be protected while on my travels I could wear this or have it in the altar space a candle which can be the center of focal point of your altar to represent deity or merely for lighting when you want to do a particular ritual you could have a little spell jar that you've set up for a particular intention this one's a self-love jar bay leaves which you can sorry i'm glowing in the dark one second sorry if i don't lock the brightness i glow in the dark because i'm basically with milk um bay leaves you could write your wishes on and burn your favourite crystals, so I've got some rose quartz, a protective crystal, this one's like a lava stone one, some black salt, mine's got glittering because glitter makes everything better, but some black salt if you want to do protection working, some rosemary, again you can do the protection working while you're there, some incense to burn, so you can have that nice atmosphere um, a lighter or little you could have like a little matchbook to light your candles and incense um, quartz crystals good because you can use it for any intention so you can just put quartz crystals in your little box I've got amethyst because it's my favorite one and I do like amethyst for a lot of things so you could have items like this in your box to take with you um, you could also add like a string of beads if you use like prayer beads or anything like that. So there's lots of different things and you can tailor it to a specific purpose. So if you think you're going to do a protection working while you're out, while you're out and about traveling, then take items that you would need for that. If you're going to just do regular sort of, I don't know, prayers and things, you could just take some basic things to set up an altar and then some things to use as offerings while you're there there's lots of different things you can take depending on the purpose and obviously it'll all fit in your box if you get things the right size i like these little jars for a lot of things because they fit in this box quite well and i tend to have it like that and then you can put your crystals in. Oh, I'm going to put my incense in first. So depending on what you think you might need, you can take those things with you. I'm not going to fit my lighter in now, am I? There we go. That's just a Halloween jar I recycled, in case you're wondering what that is. So I've got my... Then my string of beads is a very is very stiff, but I can if you've got space you can add them. And then you take that with you on your travels so you can still do your normal routine or whatever you want to do while you're travelling. So yeah, that's just like a quick what I would put. Sometimes I wouldn't even take that. Sometimes I'd just take a candle, a couple of crystals and whatever I'm wearing around my neck. So like I've got a, oop, if you can see it, I've got a black tourmaline around my neck. Um, so yeah, 
just a nice quick video for you hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now